in a series that has been dominated by the Panthers all season long. Hit right back up the middle and greeting Reclitis with an infield single is Nasanti to start the game and the speedy team of Penguins will get a runner aboard to start things off here in the first. Snyder trying to get out of the nightmare of a first inning and delivers a curveball that Boobin can only look at. But eight come to the plate, three score. Instead, this is golfed into shallow right. Long run for Charles. Does make the diving effort. Wow. Couldn't make the dive in the first. That one in a higher degree of difficulty, and he had to really charge in with the shift on and is able to make an ice cream scoop catch to end the inning. Four runs come across, but a little defense gets Youngstown State out of the inning. Down seven. Down the depth chart at catcher and instead has started and now rips one into right center. Cutting it off nicely as Rybacki, but running quickly, both runners digging into second. That's a double for Swarmer. For out of the box was on his horse. Watch how fast he's already trucking. This is a single most times, even though that ball took Rybacki into the gap there in right center. And really fine hustle by Swarmer out of the box, gets him a double. Tracked in the cleats for the pitchers in this one, 2-2. Two -two. Blows it right by Ferry. Had a little extra motivation on it. Freshman shortstop. Rolled one over to first base his first time up. This time will be no rolling of anything. Delivered easily into right field. It's a leadoff single from the freshman. Oh, and a good pitch. Scanlon up there aggressively looking for something to hit and couldn't hold off. So Kirsch comes in, gets the first one with the strikeout. It was a ball the whole way, but Scanlon was committed to swinging the bat. A good tailing changeup away there. Two and two to Rybacki. And he looks at strike three. And they knew it. Their ace, Bo Keithley, it seemed to be the right decision to put the experienced Nick Parr out there. That one ripped into right, and misreading it was Quartel. Underran that ball, watched it sail over his head. It's a leadoff double for Wurzma. In this conversation with the folks at home, I think this is all you're going to see of Rick Latest this week. And right now, He's given up the first run of the game to Youngstown State. Good piece of hitting. Drew Dickerson right at the middle. Wurzma scores without any problems. And the Penguins have something going with nobody out here in the fourth. Double, single, RBI. And the Penguins' bats are finally awake. That is the fifth hit of the night against Rec Latis. Only six hits for Milwaukee, but they've played it seven runs thanks to several walks campus we have a new information technology center being built uh oh did they get me uh, no. uh, it's deep and hooking foul hit strong that one got all the way oh no it goes over the pole oh they it got me stayed right. in with the breeze everybody was looking at it as if that might be a foul ball and it just hooked over the top of the foul bowl so trevor worsma a double and now a solo home run is that one just hung in the air hung in the air and Scott Doffick's out of the Milwaukee dugout, and I think he's going to challenge this one. I don't know if they're going to be able to have a good enough look at it. Off the bat, the way that ball started, it looked like it almost started foul. Now watch where this one lands. Lands just short of the tennis courts out there. First base with Drew Dickerson standing in. Uh, I think our umpires have been doing a great <laughs> job, right? I think how many appeals? Uh, Five? Five challenges and we have not uh, had one overturned. Not yet. overturned. So uh, a plus for them. And Dickerson follows up the home run with a two-out double to keep things moving here in the top half of the sixth. And another good look, good piece of hitting here. Just whipped it inside the third baseline. Always the end of the year for athletics. Baseball typically the last sport sort of going. I know it's another successful track season. Swing and a miss. Boy, high heat. 
Thank you very much for trying to play Matt Cortell. One, two, three inning for Gary Clift. Gets us through the sixth. Pretty good stuff for your offense. Curveball right over for strike three, and Rybacki doesn't agree with the call. Second time he's been caught looking, and there's one away. Third baseman, Mike Berry. Rybacki thought this was high. Eh, close enough. Inside corner, Schwecki looked at it, and twice looking at third strike calls. And that's another one, two, three inning from a Youngstown State reliever. Chad Coles brought the goods in the bottom of the seventh. Fans two in the inning. Big sweeping curveball hangs over the plate. That's deposited into the left field corner. Glenn on his horse will have a stand up double to lead things off here in the top half of the eighth. Different looks. That pitcher, that Uselman breaking ball just got way too much of the plate. And Glenn made easy work of it. And I'd say that smacked into right. Webb Charles puts two aboard here.